So officials from the Federal Emergency Management Agency are in Maine assessing the damage from the March 2nd nor'easter. That storm caused significant damage in coastal communities from Kittery to Saco, the worst since the Patriots Day storm in 2007. State emergency officials are asking for a federal disaster declaration to help the hardest hit areas. Damage estimates are as modest as $3 million, but as New Center Maine's Vivian Lee tells us, that number could rise. A huge storm with unusually high tides that pounded the Maine coastline for six straight days. York County got the brunt of its fury. Fred Yosway lives across from York Beach. Jersey barriers are the things that saved us because previous years we've had the water come right up, splash right up to the uh, condo. Battering the shoreline with a dozen astronomical tides coupled with waves as high as 20 feet. The ocean came over and it was actually snapping those barricades and barriers in half. Federal emergency management officials got a first-hand look at what Mother Nature left behind. This two and a half mile stretch along Long Beach Avenue received the most damage. Besides significant beach erosion, numerous sections of the sidewalk were pushed up and have to be rebuilt. Drainage systems took a hit. Seawalls cracked and crumbled, the worst in a decade. Many washouts in, in a lot of areas that we hadn't seen before, all the way back to the Patriots Day storm of 2008. Damage estimates now stand at nearly $3 million, but are expected to rise when the assessments are complete. The cost to clean up and repair the damage in York, $600,000. FEMA's here at the request of the state and support of the state, and we're, we remain committed to be here as long as it takes to conduct these damage assessments. Now, this home located on Webb Hannett Drive here in Wells had to be condemned because of the damage it received from the storm. Check this out. You can see where the storm surge literally blew out the foundation of this house. Now, if a federal disaster declaration is approved for Maine, none of the money, though, would be allowed to cover the cost for private property owners. <laughs> Meanwhile, crews are using front end loaders to clear sand, beach rocks and seaweed piled up along the roads. The hope is the disaster assistance will come through to get coastal areas cleaned up in time for summer, but that process could take months. And Wells, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.